Hey everyone, Haskaha here with another Star Citizen in-game camera trick. This one deals with the new way free look is triggered while in character orbit camera, specifically in Star Citizen Alpha 3.6. Again, this one is probably more useful for content creators, but because it's actually a bug, I feel the general player base should at least be aware of it, just in case they trigger the bug and don't know how to fix it. If you didn't know, Star Citizen Alpha 3.6 recently moved from PTU testing to the live public servers, and with it came a few new in-game camera changes. The most drastic camera change may have been to free look. Now, to confuse things, there was always a free look in advanced camera mode, which is when you're in the third person orbit camera. But CIG added a free look to first person view that allows you to turn your head and look independent of where you are walking or pointing your weapon. I tend to use head tracking to accomplish this when I need it, so this added first person free look is of little use to me at the moment. But there are other first person games that utilize this feature, so I'm sure it has its uses. My issue with it is that it has altered how we trigger the old free look in third person or orbit camera, also known as the advanced camera mode. Orbit camera free look allows you to swing the camera freely around your character or vehicle. Before Star Citizen Alpha 3.6, we simply had to tap the Z key by default to toggle the orbit camera free look on and off. But with Alpha 3.6, we now have to hold Z to use orbit camera free look, because that's how the new first person free look works, by holding Z. Whether this was accidental or intentional on CIG's part, I'm not going to ramble on about the possible positive and negative implications here. I will say that having to hold Z down further complicates the finger twister we have to play while using Star Citizen's advanced camera controls. So with that background out of the way, here's the trick, or bug. It is possible to reverse the orbit camera free look toggle, making free look on by default while having to hold Z to use head look. While in orbit camera, store a saved view, which will save the current camera position, focal length, depth of field, and so on, so you can load those exact settings again later. Using the default keybinds, you do this by holding F4 and any of the numpad keys 1 through 9 for about 2 or 3 seconds. If you want to store the saved view in numpad 1, hold F4 and numpad 1 for 2 seconds. For this bug, it doesn't matter what view you save, it can even be the default starting position. Now, load that or any saved view you have by tapping F4 and the numpad number you saved the view to. For this example, I'll be tapping F4 and 1. As soon as you load a saved view, the free look toggle will be reversed. You are now in free look by default, and you have to hold Z to use head look. If you're recording a video and have complex camera movement, this might help reduce the complexity of the controls needed. To revert back to the default toggle of head look being on by default, you can either reset the orbit camera by pressing F4 and numpad asterisk, or you can press the Q or E keys, which by default are the lean keys. For some reason, this flips the free look toggle back to normal. This free look bug or trick does not exist in vehicle orbit camera, probably because it does not have the newly added first person free look conflicting with the controls, but you do still have to hold Z for free look in vehicle orbit camera. And that's it. If you're interested, please check out my bug report detailing this on the robertspaceindustries.com issue council. Obviously, this is not a priority right now, but I'd still like CIG to be aware of it. You can find the link to my issue council report below in this video's description. Hopefully, a few of you find this useful. Let me know in the video comments below if you have any questions or you discover any other oddities with the current camera system. Thanks for watching.